everybody it's Monday and I'm just in a fabulous mood I kind of set my intentions for the week last night I had a really lovely weekend go watch my weekend in my life vlog if you want to see what I did the first sip of coffee is necessary Ugh, it's just so lovely anywho this weekend was very well rounded but one of the things I did was spring clean like I have three big bags of clothes I went through my bathroom products my makeup like I had so much expired makeup it was actually disgusting and I just feel so cleansed and then last night I washed my sheets like you know I just had some time to myself on the Sunday night and I was able to kind of look at my week ahead and what my goals were for it, which I try to do, but I don't always do. And this week, my goal is to be happy, healthy, active, all of those things. As the weather starts to warm up, I'm just more motivated. Like yesterday, I went on a walk with my friend down West Side Highway, and it just felt so good to be outside, have the sun on my skin. Um, so the theme for this vlog, if you will, is being happy and healthy um, and active, but I like happy and healthy. That's fun. Um, so that's just trying new meals. Grocery shopping, my dad's actually coming into town tomorrow, Tuesday through Thursday, a quick trip, but he has, he's on vacation this week, and I, I don't know, something in me was like, I want my dad here for a couple days, and I love when he comes, I know you guys love when my dad comes to town, last time he came we had the best time, and we did like very like mundane chill things, it wasn't like, I mean we did go to the comedy cellar and stuff like that, but we went grocery shopping together. He's just so smart and knowledgeable on health and everything that I'm always like a sponge when I'm around him. Um, and I have like random stuff that I could use his help with, like I have a piece of furniture I still haven't built. Um, so that'll be fun. But yeah, I just think it'll be a very happy, healthy, active vlog. Maybe him and I will go for a long walk. I know he's been into walks. so. I'm really excited and looking forward to it today. I really have a lot to, of today to myself. Um, but then later today, if pending this all works out, I'm gonna go play pickleball with my friends Katie and Colby. I've never even played pickleball, but they said you can pick it up really easy. And it's supposed to be it's like getting warmer as the day goes on. So I was like, that would be so fun. So we'll see if that happens. Um, but then, I mean, that would be awesome. I did a workout this morning and then to go play pickleball later, I just think, I feel myself thawing out um, and I feel like all of New York City is thawing out so I'm really looking forward to this week I'm in an obnoxiously good mood right now as you can tell um, but I'm gonna lean into it because I know there's gonna be like a 2 p.m. crash but yeah I had a great workout this morning showered put my scalp treatment on all the things and now I'm gonna open my computer do some emails I have to record something for the podcast and yeah but welcome to a week in my life in New York City subscribe if you're new here because I post every Wednesday and Sunday and it's really good time I would like to think. Gotta set the tone so I'm gonna listen to Workday Jazz. I've been loving this playlist on Spotify. You guys know I love an instrumental moment when I'm doing work. I feel like a lot of people are the same way and then I also love deep focus but we're gonna do Workday Jazz today. Welcome to the kitchen. I think today is turning out to be one of those days where I actually get everything done on my to-do list. Like I always make myself a very lofty to-do list and then usually I have to carry over a couple to the next day, which I think is totally normal and I love that and it's satisfying to bring it over to the next day, whatever. But even more satisfying is crossing everything off and just having these few hours to just get a ton of work done has just been so lovely. But it's time for lunch. Um, like I was saying, I made, or I don't even know if I was saying, I made this amazing tomato cucumber salad last night. It's like so good. The recipe, I like linked it on my Instagram stories, but I, got, I looked up on Pinterest tomato cucumber salad and it's tomato, cucumber, red onion, cilantro, parsley, olive oil, red wine, vinegar, and oregano all mixed together and it's so good. Um, but I want, I'm trying to eat more protein. So I've got, this is just like an easy way um, to do that for me, I found. I just get these Trader Joe's frozen breaded chicken. Um, I need to go to Trader Joe's, maybe, eh, I don't need to go today, um, but I'll probably heat up two of these, and then I'm gonna eat that with the salad on the side, and I think it's gonna be the perfect lunch. I just realized that that whole clip, my hair was messed up. It's because I have my blue light glasses going up and down off my head. Oh well. Okay, this looks so bomb to me. You guys are probably like, what the heck, but it all goes down the same place, and I love chicken with some refreshing cold salad, so... Yay! Okay, lunch has been eaten. One of my goals for today and the last kind of piece of my spring cleaning, well, maybe last, I don't know, who knows, I'm finding other things to do as well. 
As you guys know, and Brooke has talked about at our live shows, my candle collection, it's hefty. Um, and I feel like I'm not using, like a lot of them are like basically done or I haven't, so I just want to organize this area a little bit better um, so that when I go to grab another candle I have. I just got this one, it's called Hotel Lobby. That's also good, it's the New York one. Got a spring break one. Maybe I'll burn that as when it gets a little bit warmer. Some lavender, eucalyptus. What's this? Bonfire, bonfire Blaze. Oh my gosh, that's like a fall scent. I'm gonna try and like organize them by seasons too. This is really nice. This one is done. Love this one. Evening Unwind. I love homesick candles, if you guys can't tell. Um, by the Fireplace, another fall scent. Um, we've got Keys Soul Care. And it keeps going, you guys. Don't you worry. So I'm going to go through this, listen to a podcast, and I'll show you guys when it's done being organized. All right, this looks a lot better. These are like the seasonal scents for now, like spring, summer vibes that I want to use right now. And then over here are the ones I'll save for the fall, winter. Um, and then I have two. Oh, I love this stuff. I love Frenchie. This is Ashley Tisdale's line. I have the same spray in my bedroom, and I spray it. Um, before getting into bed kind of a little turn down service if you will it smells so good and it lingers and then this is the hotel collection black velvet scent it's supposed to smell like the addition hotel if you know that scent and then I've got two of these nest fragrances diffusers that I will refill when they're done this one I'm a little obsessed with it's matcha lime zest and matcha it's such a unique smell everyone always asks what that smell is and I have that diffuser going in my apartment right now and it's about to be done so I'll take that in a second and then I also found this candle that I haven't used yet. I love this brand, Literary. They have really cute candles. This one's called Bodega Coffee Espresso and Cream, and it really does smell like a coffee shop. So I think I'm going to put it in my kitchen and then, like, light it, like, tomorrow morning. Like, in the mornings. I'm crazy with my candles, I know. But that same brand also has this. My friend Allie got me this one that I can't wait to burn when it's, like, a little bit warmer. I have a house down the shore. And then I also have this one, Brunch in the West Village. So, Yeah. I think that's gonna look a lot better here as well. Yes, that looks a lot better. And then here I have all of my like drinking and card games. <laughs> so those will stay. And now for the errands portion of our day. My errands outfit came quite together, came together quite beautifully, truly. Um, I just got, I'm like trying to find my favorite onesie. I love the Beyond Yoga one, but then I also got this one from Abercrombie. I'll have it linked on my like to know it, which is always linked below. I like this material, the Beyond Yoga one. It's like that space dye, so it's kind of a few different like colors of black, whereas this is like sleek black, um, which looks so good. And I was like, I need a light jacket. Oh, a blazer. The Gals in the Go Don't Text socks, which we love. My white hokas, I got them on Free People. Hat is Huga House. Necklaces and then Ray-Ban sunglasses. Errands of the day. Okay, I need more trash bags. <laughs> I'm gonna go to Do Goodwill and bring some donations. I have like a couple wine glasses and vases that I don't use and I'd rather give away to Goodwill, so I'm gonna bring those to Goodwill. And then I'm going to a shoe repair place. I've never done this before ever, um, but and it's one of those things that I've just had on my to-do list forever and it's like, I don't need to do this today, you know, and I just kept pushing it off. But I bought these shoes, I'm embarrassed to say, like I think two months ago. Um, they're so gorgeous. They look like the YSL ones, but they're a lot cheaper. They're from the brand Kurt Geiger um, And they're my size. They're a seven and a half and um, The back since they're a sling back. They don't stick to my The back of my foot like my ankle um, They they're too big So I called and they said if I try them on they'll be able to basically shorten this elastic So it sticks to my heel which will be really great um, so finally doing that because those are, I mean, they're still really nice shoes. And then the iconic pink Pradas that I've worn to pretty much every Gals in the Go live show. Well, not the New York ones. I got them after New York, but I love them. I went out one night in them in Atlanta because I was like, the Atlanta show was so fun, whatever. And they have scuff marks, stains. I don't even know because this material is so unique, but if anyone can fix them, it's a shoe repair place. So I'm going to go there. Get myself a little fun beverage as a reward, and then I have to be back by 4.30 because um, someone's coming to pick up all of my clothing donations. So, I think those are all the errands. Goodwill trash bag shoes. Let's go.
All right, we are back. That was so easy. I went to John's Shoe Repair, if anyone's interested. He was so great. His name was Ariel, and he was like, come back Friday. And he thinks he'll be able to, he knows he'll be able to do the silver shoes for me, like cut the strap. Um, and I like tried them on and everything, but the pink shoes, he's like, we'll see what we can do. But I went to CVS to get trash bags, and of course I had to leave with other things, but they were like things I've kind of been wanting slash needing. Um, so got garbage bags. But then also, I like don't use dryer sheets, and I don't know why, because my mom always did growing up. So I got dryer sheets from Myers. I love this brand in general. Got a lint roller. I feel like I could use one, especially if I like wear a new sweatshirt over leggings. Then I take the sweatshirt off, and you know, like the white fluff is on the leggings. I feel like this will help. So I've never owned a lint roller. Very excited about it. I got shipping tape for when I return things, because I'm trying to be better about like returns and exchanges. I always have been. But like recently, I think I've just been more like, okay, do I really need this, you know? And like actually going, and FedEx in particular, I know they like you to like already have it taped up. So I wanted to have some on hand. And then lastly, I got two lip liners because Miss Kellyanne, Makeup XK, always gets me um, these Maybelline lip liners. She's talked about toffee as like when she does her gym lips where it kind of looks like your lips but better with lip balm it's just like lining lips with lip balm but then this one is this is magnetic mauve and it looks a lot like the makeup forever one i like and wherever walnut so i just wanted to try these out i always like having lip liners on hand it just elevates any makeup look especially obviously the lips so yeah that's my random little cvs haul um i feel productive yay my hallway is officially cleared Donations are off. I just feel so good. My head kind of hurts. We're gonna go outside, talk to Colby and Katie, and it doesn't, it seems to be very windy, um, or like too windy for pickleball, and it's not like <laughs> as sunny, sunny, but like as we thought we would be, so we were kind of like, let's save pickleball for like a beautiful sunny spring day. And it was sunny, but now it's like a little cloudy. Um, and of course, now we're going to Westside Highway right along the water, so it might be cold, but whatever. We all three were like, I still want to go outside in some capacity to kind of just break up the day. Um, so we're all going to walk the West Side Highway together, which I'm so excited. It's finally West Side Highway season again. Um, so yeah, I'm wearing the same thing. I just put on a puffer instead just to help break the wind, literally, from like the wind by the water. But it's so pretty. And I don't know how to wear my hair. I mean, I, I don't know why I like showing my earrings with the like hair behind the ear situation. I think it looks kind of chic. But maybe to keep my ears warm will actually keep my hair on. And then I have my sunglasses. All right, let's go walk. I started my day off with a workout with Bandier and Brianna Joy Fitness. It was so much fun. Katie and Margo came too. They gave us matching sets. Then I walked back. As I was walking back, my dad literally was getting out of the taxi. It was perfect. Welcome to New York. Going in the wrong direction. He was going in the wrong direction. I go, no, no, no. 
but it was good. See, because he didn't bring me to your address. He just brought me to the corner. Right. You get in a taxi and you're like, blah and blah. You tell him the cross streets, you know, I'm walking here. Um, so the weather, you brought the Florida sunshine with you. Yeah. It's like 67 right now or something crazy. I'm wearing shorts. I'm getting crazy. We're going to go for a little walk um to the west side maybe pop into like a home store of such because i don't know my dad kind of put out the idea of like getting herbs for my balcony which we might do and i kind of want a chair like as the, like this morning when i was waking up the sun was like perfectly coming through the street and i was like it'd be so nice to just sit on my balcony it's a very small balcony though it's like 17 and a half inches long or wide wide, wide so it have to be a very mini chair, but we're just gonna go stroll around because it's so nice out. Tomorrow's supposed to be a little bit more cloudy, and I'm just like, I need to be outside. I put on my sunscreen. All right, my dad wants to see what the little island is all about. Foods haul incoming. He's showing me all of his favorite things. All right, we are back from Whole Foods. You guys know it's time for Dad's haul. Okay, well this is really a combination haul, but I had an emphasis on it. So a first combination. We got, first we have raspberries, and so raspberry berries are the healthiest of the fruits, basically as a group of fruits, and you always want to get organic organic berries if you can. Then, if you have a sweet tooth, this is a chocolate dessert that um, doesn't have any sugar. It's got six grams of carbs, but of those six grams, five grams are fiber. You're natural, Dad. Um, this is really Danielle's haul, <laughs> but she liked this one because it has almond flour and a couple of cucumbers. So, of course, the healthiest foods don't have labels. Yeah. And that's the key. Um, always get foods without labels. You know, nuts are like a superfood, okay? So I'm trying to get Danielle to eat more nuts. And again, with nuts, if you can, you want to get organic because they do spray nuts with pesticides. And you also would want to get uncooked raw nuts, raw macadamia nuts. These are one of the best nuts for you. And then baking soda was really to take away the odors in your refrigerator. You just open it up, leave it in the back of the refrigerator. That was a little fun grab on and our then, way to the checkout. And then when you think it's gotten old, you pour it down your drain, run the water, and it kind of kills some of the germs at the same time. Nice. A little fun fact. And that's there. it. That's it. Dad, you crushed that. Okay. Thank you for the haul. You're welcome. Hi, girls. Okay, my dad's over there. We're listening to some Frank Sinatra. I just Swiffered my floor. Comment down below what I can do, you guys. Even when I moved in, the grout was this color. I've seen things called, like, grout pens where you, like, paint. I literally would spend a day and, like, do this because it disgusts me so much, the black. Um, but I Swiffered and, like, I mean, I'm sure it got stuff off. It just still always looks dirty, which I hate. But I don't even know if you guys can tell, but I reorganized or just kind of a decluttered my bathroom caddy. I've been in a spring cleaning mode, as you guys can tell. So I have like my hot tools here, um, my blow dryer. I changed this to make it all hair ties so there's not hair ties everywhere. My most worn perfumes right now, Q-tips. Um, my headband, rollers, clear elastics, and like makeup clips. And then like my deodorants, lotions that I'm using right now, other hair stuff and claw clips, and then headbands and claw clips in there. All of my other perfumes and then this is all my travel products and like travel cosmetic bags and then I just hook on the uh, claw clips onto here. I got this caddy on Amazon and I truly love it. It came with me from my last apartment. It just does what it needs to. This looks very cluttered right now but I'm happy with it and I cleaned it too with like surface spray, surface cleaner so feels good. I feel like Brooke, she always does this like feels good. <laughs> it's almost time to start getting ready for dinner. The loops face mask on, and he wants me to try macadamia. Macadamia nut. 
You gonna eat one with me? Cheers. Cheers. It's a lot better than in a cookie. Yeah. <laughs> so you get double the flavor. It's it so actually, hard. it's not like a sweet flavor, which I didn't want. No. I don't like sweet. Hey guys, we are headed to dinner. We're meeting up with Ryan. We're going to a place called Extra Virgin in West Village. I've been wanting to try. My friend actually saw Joe Jonas and Trophy Turner there the other day. White ribbed uh, long sleeve from Nordstrom. Zara Bomber Abercrombie jeans. New Balance sneakers for comfort. And by far, shoulder bag. You ready, Dad? You excited? Gosh, my hair did not last. We are back now. I got a matchbox. I always get so excited when restaurants have matches. As you guys know, I have my matchbox case here. So we're gonna add this one on there. So satisfying, I get so excited. Ta-da, yay. Guys, checking the health app today. Walked 17 thousand steps I'm pooped my legs are pooped and we're gonna sleep good tonight I'll see you guys in the morning good morning everybody it's Wednesday morning about to make some breakfast we're gonna try the sheep's yogurt gonna add five drops of monk fruit because it's just it's non-sweetened there's no flavor to the yogurt so this will give some flavor we're gonna try this granola we'll see how I like it and then some berries good morning here she is. I added chia seeds too. I forgot I had those. So I'll, I'll be honest if this is good or not. Update guys. I feel like I'm a pretty picky eater and this is actually so delicious. We love that. Okay guys, we're headed for my coveted nail appointment. That was very hard to change. So my dad's going to chill here. Um, he might help me put together my piece of furniture, which would be huge. I'm um, going to get my nails done. Here's the fit. Pants, Zara, jacket, Helsa shirt it's like this rib shirt i just got it from aritzia it's such a good basic i got it in black too and i really like it i'm realizing this kind of all doesn't go but i'm just going to the nail salon and back can't wait to see this when i get back <laughs> it looks so good oh yeah dad you crushed it oh my gosh those are extra little things to hide stuff but there's nothing else to hide to hide like I put them over screw. Oh, uh, very cool. Else to hide. Oh, this is so extra. nice. This is from Wayfair, if you guys are wondering. I can put flowers on here, too. Um, so basically, all that stuff over there and just anything else that's clutter in my whole apartment, really, will live here. I got this because there was taller things to put my blender in because a lot of this things couldn't fit my blender. Shelf, oh, that's awesome. Well, we'll play around. I'm excited. We might take off the legs so it's a little shorter. That's what Sierra said, maybe. And it definitely looks better if I take out one of the bar stools. Because I always was supposed to have three, but they came in packs of two. Um, so I think... Drop it about six inches if you take those. So bring it like here? Uh, there. Like here? Yeah. I think that could be... We'll, we'll play around later, but I'm really happy with can it. You, Thanks so much, Dad. Can you find any statistics in the mirror? Length, width? Um, well, the mirror's on the way today. It's out for delivery. I know, but the box won't tell a length width. Oh, yeah, 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 I have it from the website, yeah. Here are my nails. I just did like a nudie pink with chrome over top, of course. I literally haven't not gotten chrome since I discovered it last summer, <laughs> which is so crazy. We are about to head over to Ryan's office because he's in the office today, and we're going to get lunch with him in Fidei and then see the top of the building which is gonna be fun because my dad hasn't been so I switched into this little outfit um, same Maritzia shirt blazers lioness Abercrombie jeans adidas sneakers sunglasses as a headband what's new It's so cloudy. <laughs> yeah, you would see the Empire State Building. All right, guys, it's a lot later. We've been just doing random things around my apartment. I'm hard boiling eggs right now. <laughs> Dad's taking a break because he's been helping me with all kinds of random things that I don't even know if I could. Like, what did he do? 
like these curtains, they were really annoying to pull. So we put tape up there so it's smoother. It's just the little things. I'm like, wow. And then I ordered these curtain pullback like beads. They look so pretty. So we put up these hooks. We, he totally did that. Oh, there was like a scuff mark on this. So he was like, do you have a Sharpie? And I, and, I, and these aren't things I'm pointing out to him. He just goes, oh, this, see here. So good, another playbill for my collection. Woo! And the piece of furniture. Always thinking, I tell you. Okay, we're in a rush, but I'm in my typical dinner and a show outfit. My sleeveless turtleneck midi dress, black leather jacket from Lamarck, Bottega bag, black boots, I slicked back my hair because humidity is out today. We're going to Bond 45 in the theater district just to have like a quick dinner. And then we're going to see Bad Cinderella tonight because they offered me tickets and I was like, oh my gosh, my dad's in town. Let's go see a Broadway show. So, we're headed out. <laughs> another to the collection it was so good you guys highly suggest such a fun entertaining show i love the spin they did on it and it was so lovely good morning hi guys so we it's a happy and healthy week started the day did a sculpt society workout with audrey and bridget and katie who is a sculpt society instructor we went back to the energy house which was so much fun or bring the energy studio um and then i came back and you guys know the mirror saga. So I got a mirror that was supposed to be there. I'm not even gonna explain it all, but it cracked. It wasn't my fault. And then we built this yesterday. We realized it might be a little too tall for the mirror. So then I was getting stressed and my, we're like hanging the mirror up today. And then we unboxed the mirror. <laughs> it's not the right mirror. Guys, this is mirror gate. So just a little, like, I don't, I, that's just not gonna, what we were gonna do is, I had like this blob mirror, we were gonna hang it this above one, it this sideways. One sideways. This one can't go sideways, that's not the, it's actually beautiful, like I love the wood, but it's definitely not gonna go there. What we were gonna do is if it didn't go there, I was gonna hang up a picture above that, which I guess I'll do now, and then put the mirror here, but I don't even think, yeah, let's see, I don't even think we'll be able to hang this up here, like I think it's too wide, yeah. I'm just, I just want my money back at this point and there's just no more mirrors happening. Like this is just funny. But it's such a beautiful mirror. I have a mirror here and then I have a mirror there. I have so many. Oh, I know, but this looks so good here. Um, does it come off easily? I feel like it doesn't. I installed this one, didn't I? Yeah, you did. There must be a bottom and a top. I feel like it. Uh, I mean, I guess this could tie in with the wood of the yeah, bench. Yeah. I, don't remember how I feel like to the salon. Let's see what this is going to look like. Oh, that actually looks really good. Just leaning it against for now. Actually, you know, it blends. It does blend. Yeah. It would be on the wall, obviously. Will you hold it up one more time? Um, yeah, this looks really good, actually. Yeah. I'll send a yeah, picture to Sierra. Can't see yourself in there. No, I guess it's more for the vibes. <sighs> okay, well now let's see what. Now you can see your face at least, right? Yeah, I can say hi. Wow, this critical thinking. All right. Oh, that looks quite nice. Yeah, I think so. And you want it low enough. You don't sit on this bench, do you? No, I don't. And then I actually would be able to see more of myself here. This isn't like terrible. Yeah, Critical thinking. Yeah. Well, yeah, it's either this mirror goes back or I hang it above there. And I actually was really struggling on what I would put above this. It's kind of a vibe. It looks like it matches, you know, because it's Yeah, it's it kind of brings all of my apartment decor together. But obviously it'll be hung up, like I keep saying, but that's not too shabby, Dad. I don't know if I would have thought of that. It's got a very fun, packed morning. Um, these are things I obviously agreed to before I knew my dad was going to come. But 
yeah, um, workout was great. Figure out the mirror thing. We're going to do that. And I'm just doing, oh gosh. My lips. Anyways, we are about to go on Kenzie's podcast. It's called I Love You So Much. And she's doing these, I don't know how often, but every now and then doing like book podcasts where you talk about like books you've read recently and just book chat. And I think she asked me because I've been back on my reading grind a little bit. Uh, so I'm thrilled. I'm honored. I'm stressed. I'm literally bringing my Kindle so I can refer back to books that I've read. Um, but it should be fun. The studio she records that's really cool. She's dressed casual, so I did too. My hair needs to be washed, but it is just slicking back. Uh, Aritzia shirt, the same one I wore yesterday in black. I'm obsessed. I kind of want to go back and see if they have any other colors. Um, Bombers from Zara. Everyone's asked me about it. It's brand. I just got it at Zara like a month ago, and I saw it the other day in store, so they still have it. I wear it in a large, so it's like got that boxy feel. My favorite cargo pants from Urban Outfitters, New Balance sneakers. Um, I forgot where these hangers are from. I've been using the Patrick Ta Cream Foundation. It's just so easy to apply. I'm like, wow. And yeah, I'm leaving my dad for an hour, but he's a patient king. And he's gonna, my mirrors are gonna be hung up. I'm very excited about that. And then when I get back, we're gonna do lunch and explore. The weather's looking pretty good right now. It's supposed to rain today, but it, wow. That Rare Beauty highlight really does what it needs to. It's I got it in the color Flaunt. Wow. Um, might get a potted plant today. We'll see. I was tired the other day. But yeah, that's what's going on. And then my dad leaves later tonight. But it's been so lovely. Kenzie, I got you a blue bottle Nola. I feel like Kenzie. This is hers, not for me. But she goes, are you going to stop and get any non-caffeinated coffee on your way? I was like... I already got some, but I will happily get you a caffeinated coffee. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. I know, I mean, I do too. Hi. Um. Lunchtime, took dad to American Bar. I got the chopped salad. He got the uh, peanut chicken. It's so good. Back from lunch now. We walked around a little bit. I see dad, you, um, he rearranged and actually... I think this looks really a lot better. It looks less cluttered over here with the, this is kind of a vibe, I hate to admit it. Wow, I would have never thought of this positioning. That's so funny, he took the liberty of doing that. Okay, another addition, got these beads on Amazon and just popped this in the wall right here. So when I pull back my curtains, they look so good. They literally look like the decorative beads I have on my coffee table. And now that I'm able to pull them back even more, like hold them back, I love how the shears look behind and it brings in more light. So uh, having my dad here is so nice. I love him. And then in addition over here, he, he noticed a, something, one of my doors. He was like, let me fix this. I love this. This is from afloral.com. It's, it's a fake plant. It's like a hanging plant and the pot came from afloral.com too. And I just think this is a perfect addition to my shelves. I'm obsessed. Um, those Pellegrinos won't always be there. I just have those there right now. Um, but we're still working on it. Those, I don't really like how that looks there. I don't know. And then, yeah, this photo my dad sent me, which was really nice. It's a random vase I have. And I'm like clearing up this area. I had so much stuff under my bench and I was finally able to fit it in my coat closet. This is a bag I need to get to Brooke, so that's why that's there. But this just looks so fab now. Like this is a home, you know? And I have this picnic basket, but I have nowhere else to put it. And I actually think it looks kind of good up there. So that's the update. Uh-oh. <laughs> I also have the same print that I have on that tote bag I always wear from my friend Katie Bellotti. She designed this. She has the link in her bio on Instagram. Um, this is called Martini Girl, and I have been meaning to get it framed so I can also put it on my shelves because I think that'll be the perfect addition, maybe even with my little martini thing I have. Now we're just playing around. <laughs> it's not terrible, but I don't think this is the moment. I think a candle here in the middle is nice. Well, no, uh, no, because that needs to be above the count console. 
I like it though. You've had some good ideas. You've had some good ideas. I think a candle in the middle is pretty. Brings it all together. If it's lit. This could go. This was above and it does interfere with the TV sometimes. So I could put this guy. My shelf is calling my name. Put it down there. We need more things down there. Uh, but it's such a good... Well, Sierra said it's best to have just like these on the side and then like see how that's in the middle to pull those okay. Yeah <laughs> well, something This looks this shelf. looks good over here Okay, I know you're right That looks random though Um I know. I need more like things. As I as I'm at, it's fun to like add on things as I as I go. I have Katie's f painting that I need to frame. But yeah, this is fun. All right, Dad left about 20 minutes ago. I'm gonna go meet Ryan in Fidei. He finished work early and he's off tomorrow, so I'm gonna go meet him on Stone Street. It's like the most beautiful day. I really don't even want to be wearing this blazer, but I'm going to dinner from there, and I know it's gonna get chilly later. Loving, I'm so happy to finally be wearing like spring outfits, long sleeve is from Nordstrom, Matilda Jerf, her Jerf Avenue collection, um, blazer, Abercrombie Curve Love jeans of course, and then I just got these new balances off of StockX, they're the silver and cream 530s, I don't know, I could be just making that up, but yeah, going to meet Ryan for happy hour, and then I've never drank on Stone Street before, so I'm excited. And then I'm going to meet Kenzie and Brooke for dinner at Ruby's in the East Village. Let's go. enjoyed this happy and healthy vlog headed into the weekend now I love you guys so much make sure to subscribe if you guys are new here and I will see you very soon for our next video